हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज गौरव यादव लेक्चरर एट डी आई पी एस इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे आई एम गोना डिस्कस अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस दिस इज पार्ट वन इन विच आई एम गोना डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज कोरोना वायरस इट्स मोड ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन इट्स इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड सिम्टम्स safety measures and last but not the least its flattening of the curve what is coronavirus coronaviruses are the type of rna virus there are many different kind of coronavirus like mers cov with strains for middle east respiratory syndrome related coronavirus and sars cov which stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus and which causes which cause disease a newly identified coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 has caused a worldwide pandemic of respiratory illness called COVID-19 how does the new coronavirus spread as of now researchers know that the new coronavirus is spread through droplet released into the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes the droplet generally do not travel more than a few feet and they fall on the ground or onto the surfaces in a few seconds this is why social and physical distancing is an effective preventing the spread of coronavirus what is the incubation period for covid-19 it appears the symptom are showing up in people within 14 days of exposure to the virus actually the incubation period of covid-19 it's also depend upon the host immune system if host immune system is very strong then it will take some time to show up like 14 days or up 15 days if the host immune system is weak it will take to 2 to 4 days or 1 week approximately what are the symptoms of covid-19 covid-19 symptoms include cough fever shortness of breath muscle ache sore throat unexplained loss of taste or smell diarrhea headache and in rare cases covid-19 can lead to severe respiratory problem like kidney failure or death this is a picture of symptom of covid-19 the first symptom is having high degree of fever second symptom is cough or sore throat the patient having cough dry cough and sore throat if these type of patient starts coughing or sneezing in outer environment in outer surrounding they will eventually cause the covid to the person extending to him or her third is difficulty in breathing patient having low oxygen level oxygen saturation will get low so breathing problems start occurring fourth one is chill this is common symptom fifth one is muscle aching muscle pain when patient having covid-19 it start its muscle start aching fifth one is new very new symptom it do not occur in every patient it occur in few patients only this is loss of taste or smell what are the safety measures to prevent spread of coronavirus first is social and physical distancing social distancing is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid spreading illness staying at least 6 feet away from the other people lessen your chances of catching covid-19 
wear a cloth face covering where social distancing can't be practiced especially in area of significant community based transmission cancelling events that are likely to draw crowds in an example of is an example of social and physical distancing other example of social and physical distancing that allow you to avoid larger crowds or crowded spaces are working from home instead of at the office closing school or switching to online classes visiting loved ones by electronic devices instead of in person cancelling or postponing conferences and large meetings this is a picture of basic safety measure which we can follow to prevent covid-19 to our family members or to ourselves also first one is disin disinfect the surface okay you can disinfect the surface using lysol dettol or 3 to 4% of sodium hypochlorite solution you can disinfect inanimate objects like uh, door knob door lock floor etc you have to disinfect these thing second one is washing your hand at least for 20 seconds you have to follow who guideline how to wash your hands properly so that you uh, your hand will clean accurately third one is while sneezing or coughing you should cover your mouth or you should sneeze on your sleeves okay not your hands if you sneeze or cough on your hand your hand will touch some other things it will get transferred to that thing so go on it will go on like that so you have to cough or sneeze on or the gloss on your sleeve or you should cover your mouth while coughing or sneezing second is self quarantine people who have been exposed to the new coronavirus and who are at the risk of this or coming down with covid-19 might practice self quarantine health expert recommend that self quarantine lasts for 14 days two weeks provide enough time for them to know whether or not they will become ill and be contagious to the other people self quarantine involves some following steps like using standard hygiene and washing hand frequently not sharing things like towels and utensils staying at home not having visitors staying at least 6 feet away from the other people in your household once your quarantine period has ended if you do not have symptoms follow your doctor instructions on how to return to your normal routine third one is isolation for people who are confirmed to have covid-19 isolation is appropriate for them isolation is a healthcare term that mean keeping people who are infected with a contagious illness away from those who are not infected isolation can take place at home or at a hospital or care facility special personal protective equipment will be used to care for those these patients in in healthcare settings flattening the curve refer to using protective practices to slow the rate of covid-19 infection so hospital have room supplies and doctor for all the patient who need care this is the gif diagrammatic representation of flattening the curve of covid-19 this line represent the number of cases and this line represent the time since first case as you can see there is a dark blue curve which represent without protective measures means if we do not follow any protective measure our 
hospital our health care system will shut down because as the number of cases increase increasing day by day health care system will shut down and no doctor will be available for each and every patient and hospital supplies and room will be not sufficient for each and every individual but if we follow protective measure this curve will flatten and will represent like this so our healthcare system will not shut down as fast as without protective measures so we have to follow each and every rule which by who so that our curve will be flattened and every healthcare facility will be available for each and every individual so no person will die thank you please subscribe my youtube channel and part 2 will coming tomorrow